here it is. What is that, Israel? And you know when I play my shake, I hear clicks in and out of that note every time I play. questions about what's left on my hammers you know I haven't looked in my hammers to know what the state of the hammers are after what since 1992 when the hammers were, were put in and I, I want to know if those are Steinway hammers the detective work begins high tech, high tech. well the hammers are awfully bright so that's yes that's you know didn't true. I tell you didn't yeah, I tell you this piano bright, went bright yeah, on me? Bright. And of course when it's closed, you won't know it as much when the, yeah, when the lid's right. down. That's why I keep the lid down. Mm -hmm. Well, more than that, why would I want this room to have the piano open anyway, right? Well, you know, ironically, the sound is easier to control when the lid is open than when the lid is closed. When the sound is coming at you from the bottom of the piano is distorted. When it's coming at you directly from oh. here, and you're getting you're getting it direct. I see. see. So so. So it's better if I had it partially open, yeah. like you don't like have a short stick. You know, you don't have a short stick. I don't know. Did this piano ever have a short yeah, stick? No, it did. It's no, too, because it's too no, old. It was built without a short stick. Yeah, 1917. Yeah, they didn't do short sticks back then. Yeah. This one. It's the B below middle B. Yeah, I call it the B below middle B. I'm anxious to see those hammers and what's going on there. There they are. Tell me about them. Remember, 22 years of playing on them and teaching on them. Say. Doesn't say what they are. Well, I could swear he he offered me either uh, Abel or a Steinway, and I like the sound of the Steinway hammer. No, this, this, this is most likely Steinway. Hammer. Yeah, I think most so. Most likely Steinway hammer. Just just that I don't see the name. I don't see it. Usually they're stamped Steinway, but I also see that that, that the hammers were tapered. So in the tapering, the, the name was, you know, the, the, yeah. the printing got uh, sliced off. Oh. <laughs> so he tapered them. Them. When you say taper, do you mean shape them? No, just taper them. Just taper them. Just I them see. Up. I see. Slice off the sides. I so they have to be styling. Yeah, they're yeah, well, it's the right. It's the right color fill. Yeah. The right. Color. Just I don't see a typical. But, but of course that changes. Yeah, they're they're. they're if, if they all said they're Steinway. No, I'm sure, I'm sure. I remember he, he gave me a choice and, and he hung a hammer in one and hung a hammer on another. For tone, you know. Yeah. That's interesting. Is this the note in question that yeah. you're looking at? The B? You're thinking it's in the key. Now, how you make that judgment versus uh, the release versus the, the entry into it, yeah. into the note? So, it on the, on the plate. so when I actually touch the key itself, not on the release. Uh, it's not on the release, no. 
Yeah, I noticed because when I played it to triple P and I just tep tepidly went in, I already heard that noise. Is that an action problem, what you would call? I still can't isolate it. Can't isolate it. Do these things get warped over time? Everything. Uh, everything changes over time. Here, you got, you got, you got to split. What, which one is that? Or, uh, is real? What, what note is that? I may have detailed that one. I don't think I detailed that one. I detailed the D sharp. You got a split key. Meaning. Meaning. Crack. There's a crack here. How, how does that. A lot of, a lot of <laughs> so that's going to affect the touch? Well, it's, yeah, I mean, you have a lot of slop in this key, a lot of side to side motion. So you're losing, so you're losing energy, essentially. The difference here, all the slop here. So the key button. Split is on the, the is on C sharp there. Yeah, C sharp here. Oh wow! How does that happen from continuous no, playing? It's all good. Oh, and you think the rain factors in no, all this rain? I mean, it's just it's just it's just good. old. Look, it's just look how little yeah. wood there is here. Yeah, and it's lighter right along yeah. the grain line. So yeah, eventually it's just this sideways stress. So when the work was done in 92, he didn't replace the keys, all he did, no, he here, did a big here. job though, you could see he did a lot of work. No, he, he replaced the key bushing. He did. Yeah. Is that having to do with the button? Well, like I said, the button is, is old, the, the wood is old, oh. it eventually just gives way. You know, it's, right, it's right along, right along right the over there. Line, right along the gray line, and there is, and there is tread. So, see, some some key buttons are replaced completely. So he did. These are, these are, these are new so key he did buttons. not replace all did the key buttons. All of them. Doing it. Let me put it this way: If I were to do a key button job, I wouldn't do it myself. I would send it out to a specialist. Okay. Okay, because people who specialize in key work. They do just key yeah, button just, work. Just, no, just key work. Just key whatever. work. Anything You're talking about anything to do with the anything key. Anything had to do with the key with the key stick itself. I see. Yeah, you know, there's people who specialize in it. They they have the they have an equipment. They have the equipment in the shop I uh, to do it quickly, and they do a lot of it, so they're fast at it. So wherever it looks kind of new, while I'm looking at it, where is the light colored wood? Those were the new key buttons. Yes. So Israel, here's what I want to know. There's a lot of notes that are that are giving me problems. I'm talking as from an artistic point of view. Well, for what I can see. And you haven't tried all of them. There are notes I can show I you. I don't need to try all of yeah, them. Yeah, but you could see it. I don't need to try all of them. All I can see is this action needs a good regulation. Okay. Now, would you do the Stanwood touch weight, or would you just no, use I'm whatever? Not, I do not. Hypothetically, it's, it's, it's you know, they're not. <sighs> Hypothetically, uh, if you want to spend the money on, on, on the Stanwood thing, that's fine. In other words, you put the four or five thousand dollars in the touch weighting, but then with the old hammers, why would you do that? Uh, That's my issue. My question is, does no, this I would, need? I wouldn't do it with the old hammers. Okay, there's here's my next question. That's what I was going to ask you. Does this piano need new no, hammers? No, it doesn't. You have plenty of felt on these hammers. Does it need reshaping? Yes. Okay. He's reshaping and voicing. 
So V-shaping voicing and regulation without yeah. Stanwood. Yeah, well, Stanwood, I would, I would, I would, I would, you know, it's it's like this. You can always Stanwood is this is this original is this additional stuff. Right. Okay. If you if you get these hammers V-shaped and voiced and the action regulated. Okay. Okay. If it's all done properly. That should give you a satisfactory result. Result. Now, what about the brightness that I'm getting well, now? That's, that's, about, that's voicing. Okay, so you're saying that the, 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 a technician can satisfy my 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 desire to have a nicely voiced piano, given the hammers I have now. Yeah, if he or she knows what they're doing. Right. I think also part of the part of the brightness you're getting is has to do with the aging of the strings. Really? Because they were those were new ones twenty years ago. He yeah, put new well, strings. That's twenty years ago. So that's considered old, correct? Well, you know, if, if you if you play a lot, then yeah, you I get do. a little fatigue. Uh, you know, do you uh, think I should get new strings? I don't think you should get new strings at this point, but just just be aware that that, that uh, factors some, in. Yeah, some of the brightness factors are from the fact that the strings okay. are aging. But you do a whole string job, and you do. Everything the hammers that can run huge amounts of money because well, of the strings. The strings will go flat too, won't they, until they stretch? Yeah, well, yeah. That will be a it disaster. Takes a, year, takes a year or two for them. Oh, that would drive me up the wall. Yeah, that's crazy. I mean, the piano basically still has a nice, a nice, uh, a nice character. Now that key button thing. That can be fixed as an isolated event. Yeah, just blew it. And when you say that all the key buttons, do you recommend I replace them all now? Not if, if they're not giving you any trouble. Oh, okay, okay. So it would reflect in the in this in the um, in the what do you call it? The movement of the key side to side, or yeah, you have a lot of side to side slop, and that makes it that makes it more difficult to control that. I key. see. And you, you're losing you're losing energy because the key moves sideways. Right, right. Up and so down. it's not as much a product a, a reflection in the tone as it in the touch. Yeah. It goes to together. The, yeah, it goes together. Tone, tone touch to, goes to, together. Yes, to, to, go uh, together. To the extent that you can't control the touch uh, as much as you would like. Like when I went over the piano today, I found at least seven notes that would give me trouble in terms of them not being, they would be sort of heavy notes next to notes that weren't heavy in the depression. Does well, that make sense? Yeah, but you have to work, you have to work one step at a time. Uh -huh. From what I can see, uh, the... Can you tell that some hammers are more grooved? Are these very grooved? Uh, uh, well, they're not very deeply grooved. Okay. But but, but you could tell they've had wear. Yeah. I mean, and how can you tell that? Would they look thinner? <clears throat> are no, they thinner? I just, I just, I just just look at the, how deep the grooves are. Oh, but that's what I was going to ask you. Yeah. So they're deeply grooved. Well, no, they're not. They're not very deeply grooved, but they're deeply grooved enough to where it's going to affect the tone. Uh -huh. You see, you have plenty. You have plenty I see. Felt left here. Okay, there's the treble hammers, yeah. and they look you like they have more left, felt. You have, you have enough felt there to be able to get get these hammers back to their shape that they need to be at. Okay. And and still have plenty of felt left. Okay. So a big hammer job makes no sense. No, I don't think. I don't think. I don't think. You if you came in here and you weren't, you know, leaving the area, would you recommend that to me? What? Uh, what you just said. Yeah, I mean, reshape hammers. Be reshape and voice the hammers and do a complete regulation, and then once we've done that, if you still have problems with too much discrepancy between between notes, then you start talking about doing a, a weight job. Action anyway. Uh, there's your click. <gasps> oh my God! It's uh, hold this up. Oh no, I got it. So the click was a pen, a top of a pen. How did it get in there? Was it inside the piano? How did it get in there? Because I keep it closed. That is unreal. Might have been in there all along and just wasn't <gasps> getting in the way, and then it, it was all along and it had to be years in there. But then why didn't I hear the click? Because it wasn't. It wasn't in a position to click. <laughs> 
wasn't in a position to click. This is but, hysterical. But, oh but, my but God. Because you know, I do keep it close so nothing yeah. can go in there. Right. 